So this is uh, the unit we're going to put together as a clock. This was a seven gang unit. I removed one. Reposition the center two. Give the typical clock spacing of hours, minutes, and seconds. Um, this is comes off. What's underneath is the driver chassis with the circuitry and the bulbs. All discrete transistors for driving the incandescent bulbs. Incandescent bulbs are about 150 milliamps. So there's no TTL device that'll drive that. I think the 745 is good for 80 milliamps, possibly. So coming up with a driving scheme for these bulbs, I think we want to go a little more efficient. So uh, coming up with. Some LEDs which seem to work good. These are warm white ones I've used before in uh, some of my other clocks. So, you get rid of the incandescent. You can get these bayonet bases, 3 8 uh, the B9A5 or whatever it is. So I think that's the way we're going to go, and these just simply plug right in the back of the projection unit. If you're not familiar with projection displays, we have here this unit, you can almost see we have in there are individual lenses and there's a translucent or like a film with a digit under each light bulb 0 through 9 there's a plus and a minus in these particular displays and the way this works is if you fire the light bulb to light the associated digit. So um, there's going to be 10 light bulbs, 0 through 9, and you have two symbols, plus and minus, in this case. So you have your film, your digit, lens in this area, light bulbs fire back here. This is dead airspace. And then on the other end here, this is where the viewer sees the numeral appear and you'll have a frosted mask or screen if you will uh, on the front and that dead space is almost like a little movie theater going on in there and it projects the image on the screen for the viewer to see so the six of these units in this chassis over here and uh, yet another projection display clock. So with this arrangement of LEDs, <coughs> we can uh, then go with a very low current uh, driving scheme. We will multiplex. Uh, to keep some wiring down and it's a circuit that I use on two of my other clock builds linked below that seems to be working so far so, there's some work to be done
and the wiring begins. Like doing a haircut. So this is a circuit I come up with, uh, could be a year and a half ago now, and um, it uses the MM5314N, which has outputs multiplexed for seven segment display. In this case, uh, what we have going on here, here's the MM5314. I think it's fed into a um, an IC that takes seven segment information and converts it to BCD. So you get four lines of binary coded decimal out of here. And this one's um, a 74C915. So those four lines of binary coded decimal get fed into a 4028 which takes and converts over to one of ten output. The one of ten output does not have enough current drive to drive the LED so we have a transistor switch for each zero through nine for each digit. I get sent out return circuit or the low side one transistor for each display unit and that turns each display unit on and off back to the 5314 another option in the 53 series clock ICs 5311 5312, maybe even the 13. Um, there's different configurations of these, um, some of which have BCD outputs, which would work for this case. The only issue is they're inverted, so you need an inverter IC. So you're not saving any steps. Um, you're still going to have the same amount of packages in doing the, the build. Um, the downside with this arrangement is the 74C915. That's that's hard to get a hold of these days. Um, it's obsolete, as well as the 53 series chips, but they seem to be more plentiful and a little easier had. Uh, so just have to keep that in mind if you're designing something similar. Well, here we have it all together. Um, picked up this aluminum case from Mouser Electronics. Um, the display unit had this bezel with it, so I was able to reuse that. It actually looks pretty good. It's just the simplest thing to do, uh, install it in this aluminum uh, chassis here. So, typical visual aesthetics to these projection displays um, some are a little dimmer than others some of the corners are a little washed out um, I did make it a little worse adding the LEDs in 
Um, the angle of the light coming through the apertures probably is not what the incandescent bulbs would provide, but um, I'm happy because it adds a certain character to it. It is uh, readable in daylight, and uh, uh, I'm going to stick with it. Works pretty good. Simple. And a 9 volt AC wall adapter. And uh, that's your time base. So you have to use an AC supply so it gets its 60 hertz reference. And just three simple time setting buttons here fast slow and hold so I can sync it up to the 30 other clocks I have <laughs> oh we're out of control here it's fun fun hobby take this old antiquated display technology and make it useful for something well I do hope you enjoyed the video here uh, stay tuned Just we have more builds, more cool clock stuff, so see you around.